Hello there, this is Asian95, and welcome back to the third episode of Black Ops Cold War Multiplayer Weapon Guide. In this installment, we will be taking a look at the Type 63. One of the two Chinese weapons in the game, the Type 63 resembles the Russian SKS semi-automatic carbine, but with a rotating bolt system that can be fired in full auto, modified from the Chinese-made Kalashnikov Type 56. In multiplayer, the Type 63 is a semi-automatic tactical rifle that deals high damage per shot. Within 50.8 meters, you need 3 shots to kill to the body or 2 to the head. Beyond this, you need a maximum of 4 shots. The fire cap and velocity of the Type 63 are the slowest in class, at just 361 rounds per minute and 625 meters per second, respectively. You trade slow output for greater controllability. When fired rapidly, the Type 63 will produce a mild recoil that will kick to the left. While this is not an issue within its effective range, at very long distance, you want to slow down your trigger for a recoil to settle before firing another. The aim time is standard for the tactical rifle class at 350 milliseconds, and you move at 95% of the base movement speed, just like your assault rifles. The magazine size is a little short at 25 rounds, but with a slow output, this will help conserve your ammunition. If this standard size is not enough, there are 30 and 35 round options available, but these are overkill. A tactical reload time is quite fast at 2.14 seconds. The Type 63's low recoil makes it a good candidate for a long range marksman role, where you'll be keeping your engagements at long distance. The iron sights are small and can be difficult to use at ranges. Replace it with a low-powered scope of your choice to enhance your mid to long range capability. The Axel Arms 3x scope is a good choice, allowing you to see enlarged targets when aiming down the sights without sacrificing too much of your peripheral vision. High-powered scopes are also available, but these will heavily magnify the recoil with an increased tunnel vision making follow-up shots more difficult. On smaller maps, the 2x Vision Tech scope is a good alternative. To maximize the Type 63's lethality in order to compensate for low output, elect the 21.5-inch Task Force Barrel. This special barrel grants you 3 benefits more than any other option. You get 9% damage boost, 100% extra range, and 50% faster velocity. The slight increase in damage will only affect the number of shots to kill to the body at long distance, with 3 shots to kill instead of 4. Otherwise, the higher damage per shot can be valuable against an armored opponent or one hiding behind soft cover. The remaining benefits are more pronounced, with an increased effective range out to 101.6 meters. Getting a 2-shot kill to the head is possible within this distance and very fast velocity of 937.5 meters per second will let you hit long range targets before anyone else. This barrel, however, does come with an increased recoil. To counter this, choose the Spetsnaz ergonomic grip to gain back the recoil control at a cost of slower shooting move speed. Other attachment slots can be fitted with the aim speed grip or a flashlight to reveal enemies' data depending on your preference. For the wild card, elect the perk greed that grants a maximum of 6 perks to be used with your marksman class. Round up your defense with flak jacket and tack mask from the first tier. Increase your equipment usage with quartermaster and gearhead from the second tier. And cold blooded and gung ho from the third to keep you hidden from the AI score streaks detection and increase reactivity by switching to your secondary faster. The Gallo SA-12 was my choice, a strong option to round up the Type 63's weakness up close. For the equipment, any of the lethal grenades will do to create an area of denial, forcing an enemy to come out from a covered position. For a tactical, the Stim Shot grants a quick health regeneration to keep you in a position and sights up with little downtime. Lastly, for the field upgrade, this is quite open. You can either elect the field mic, the trophy system, or the proximity mine, depending on your preference. Overall, the Type 63 is the tactical rifle designed for precision. 
with low recoil that enables you to place accurate shots without the need to adjust or compensate. To be truly effective with this rifle, you must keep your distance due to a slow output, or you'll be at risk of being outgunned by a fast firing weapon. Hanging back and playing defensively is definitely a way to go, as this will buy you enough time for you to line up your shots across the battlefield. And that concludes the guide of the Type 63. For the next episode, we will be taking a look at the first Alok light machine gun, the Stoner 63. This is Asian 95, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.